Next news is out of Ontario, Canada. Police investigate Ontario street preachers for their nasty comments about women. Guys, okay, so there's these two street preachers that hang out in Ontario. Um, London, actually, is the area that they're known for most. And they wear these sandwich boards, protest boards, and they like to scream at women. Specifically, they love to target women. They like to say things like, and Armin, I'm sorry if this gets us a little cut back. I'm not going to cuss. But they like to say, tell women who are walking by, like, hey, you're obviously a whore. You're a prostitute. Um, you know, you shouldn't be... They're, they're in a college town. So they say you shouldn't be here. You should be at home uh, with a husband taking care of his needs. And they, they scream this at women as they walk down the street. They have no idea who these women are. They just know that they're probably college students because uh -huh. they hang out right outside of the university. Um, and now they've, they've actually taken their little show here on the road and they're going out further and further. So they're in Waterloo where uh, the regional police department there um, got reports from Nancy Nancaro, who actually is a retired preacher herself. Um, as she was walking down the street, these men started telling that to her. Um, and so she called the police on them. And so there were ordinances passed specifically because of these two street preachers um, making sure that people can walk down the street in peace. And so now they're saying that they were targeted and this is religious discrimination oh, and nice. this is unfair. No, this is harassment. You can. This is not against your freedom of religion or freedom of speech because if you stood there and weren't harassing people and uh, preaching, nobody would have stopped you. Like for you to claim that this is against your religious freedom or, or you know or against freedom of speech, then you have to claim that if we stood there and we just like didn't harass people and said the same thing that we were saying without actually attacking people and calling them names, we would have also been arrested. Like, is that the claim that they're making? That it, or that they would have also been suppressed in some way? Or they would be... Uh, were they arrested or what? What was the... Was the they weren't arrested. They were fined. They were fined, uh, right. And so they're fighting it. So, no, but that that's what it means. Like, if you say the fine is because our religion is being, you know, discriminated against then you are claiming that if we didn't harass people and we just stood and said the same things in a more respectful manner without calling people's names, then we'd have been a f we'd, we would have been fined as well, which is nonsense. You wouldn't have been fined. This is not about free, your discrimination against your n uh, nonsensical religion or about freedom of speech. This is about you harassing people in the street. If you harass people without religion, here's another reason why this is not, their claim is nonsense. If I, uh, if I didn't have a religion, if I wasn't advocating religion and went and called people, uh, women names in streets uh, without actually advocating for religion, called them names, uh, that will also be harassment. I will also should be fined for that, even if, if there was no religion involved. So yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that you're preaching a religion and a lot do a lot to do with the harassment like uh, how much was the fine like, they deserve it i don't know yeah. i just know that they're fighting it so they're probably not going to pay it because they're pointing out that these laws were made against them directly and that they they uh contradicted other laws that gave them the right to do what they're doing um do you really need new laws because isn't there an anti-harassment law like in public spaces like you can't just go harass people like do you really need a new I don't law? Know ontario law but it makes sense to me You're right. um B just pointing out that there are actually other people who started to fight back against these. And these preachers, they're so well known for what they do. Uh, one woman one woman went and stood while they were eating sandwiches at a sandwich shop. And she let everybody know, hey, these are the a-holes that sit out here and uh, harass people on the street. Um, one lady, like, wearing pants was like, hi, I'm a woman. I'm wearing pants and, like, started flashing them uh, her breasts. Oh, just that's great. So they get uncomfortable and leave. Um, did they? So, people started fighting back. Yeah. Do you think they this? Um, okay, so these people obviously want attention. Maybe all this news coverage is giving them what they want. I don't know. Like, are they going to get donations or, or supporters from this, or I don't know what they want. What do you think their goal it's is? Hmm. Um, I think I honestly think their goal is recognition. Hmm. So they get maybe the legal all these laws and stuff. Maybe it's helping them. 
Maybe. Because now, oh, we we are so for Christ that the society is coming down on us. Uh, they even pass a law because of our, uh, you know, because of our preaching. Like this is how much you know, a lot of a lot of these Christians think that it, you're not with Christ unless the society is against you. Like some some Christians feel that. Like if the society is not fighting you, then you are not fighting for Christ. Some of, uh, I met some people like that. Uh, Paul is saying, "Are you trying to say biblical text is offensive? Wait till you hear it. It it at a judgment. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Uh, but by the way, do you be, do we blame Christianity for this, or do you, or is just these two people that are just uh, uh, dicks? Well, you can bl- you can blame Christianity all you want. Uh, the thing is, is Christianity does specifically. In the in the Bible, in their text, uh, Old Testament and New Testament, it doesn't matter. Uh, women are are beneath men. Um, women right. shouldn't speak um, in the church when there's a man present to teach them. Um, it's just, you know. Yeah, and it does call women like that. Like it, it is. And obviously, it- there are there are tons of Christian men who wouldn't dream of of saying this stuff to a woman. So, hmm. you know. It's, it's these, these men are to blame for their own actions yeah. and it does suge- and it does suge- the christianity but but christianity does advocate that um women who are not modest are like prostitutes and whores yes. and all that stuff and yeah, it does- all that is, is absolutely in the christian text yeah and so. this is also the new testament not just the old testament that women are supposed to be silent they're supposed to be um you know submissive to men so you know these submissive two, to their husbands i mean specifically the, absolutely yeah so th- this is definitely christianity it's not just this these two uh Shubham, right. did you want to add anything before we go to the next news i was thinking like uh, these two people either want attention or they're just morphing stupid <laughs> but like i i just hope they get fined a lot because if they're not arrested i hope they get fined a lot because like uh, p- the police i think has received like 75 complaints or something alone wow. just this year right yeah i mean even if they weren't relig- religious if you have random people just going out in the street and calling people names and harassing them they should be fine whether they're religious or not atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.